Welcome to After the Show, franchise Jay Claxton and the lovely Dr. Cass Vaughn. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing's going on. You know what? Actually, I said nothing's going on, but a lot is going on. Um, last week, one of the things that we failed to do is to give homage to um, someone who you and I watch quite frequently, you know, even in reruns. Um, Suzanne Summers passed away. Right. Um, you know, she's a great talent. But those of you all who did not know who she was, she was Chrissy from, from Three's, Three's Company, Company, which is one of our favorite shows. And, and, and you know what? Um, and I hate to even start the show off like this. I know. But Richard Roundtree passed as yes, well. Yes, just a few days ago. And that broke my heart because I don't know if, and I think maybe you have, but he is also part of the cast of Reunion, okay. right? Okay. And I, I still watch it. It's on Netflix. Very good show. Very good family show, right? right. right. And so... He has so much history. He's one of our African-American icons who broke into the industry. And if it wasn't for him, we would not be following in his footsteps. So, right. you know, our thoughts and prayers go out to, oh, of shame. course, you know, both of those families. Right. You know, so hate to start off like that, but I felt like. But I, I got something else. We're going to change, we're gonna change okay. the tone. We're going to change the climate. Right. Okay. So it's something that's been going around recently about where women don't want to go on a first date, right? And it, it's, it's just talking about a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you know, it, it was a video going around, a young lady saying that she's so pretty, she she's too pretty to go into the cheesecake fact. But it's it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, that's your first date. I mean, th here's, the, here's the thing. Hit, hit, well, I, I have something to say. Oh, because I, I ain't get to talk about it from okay, a man's well, perspective yet. Well, it's not even that. Um, I don't think that this is really something that you could talk about. Why? Don't men take women out? Yes, but I've right. never had a first so, date. So what I'm saying is... I didn't have a first date, so how can you talk about something listen, that I didn't have? Listen, what I'm saying is at the end of the day... I didn't day, have a first date. No, listen, at the end of the can day... Can we rewind? Yo, it's not necessarily about where, it's about the energy, right? It, it, it's about the energy. It's like, hey, I don't want to go to sporting events. If 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 we go somewhere, can't get tickets, we had a sporting event. And I'm just saying, if, if if a man took a woman to a sporting mm -hmm. event, what are you talking about? That's not first day. How about I won't spend this four five hundred dollar ticket and I'll. So let me correct you on something, okay? There's a statement that you keep saying, okay. woman, okay? There's a difference in a woman and a female, okay? All right, and I agree. Okay, I agree. So a woman is not going to care about that because right. it is the thought. It's the fact that you're thoughtful. It's the fact that you're intentional with what you're doing. Right. So unfortunately, you know, and you say this and I agree, social media is one of those platforms that people think that if they say the most ridiculous stuff that someone will follow right, now right. somebody will right because right. we're talking um, about it right now because we're talking about right, it right. however um let's be clear there's a difference in a woman and there's a difference in a female right, right. women have different standards and i tell people all the time anyone can be an adult by dictionary but it doesn't mean that you're to get to our guest. All right. So would you like to introduce our guest so that we can go to the break? All right. So coming up after the break, we are going to talk to Miss Terry Long, one half of Spotlight in the city. Yes. And we Such are, a beautiful individual. Yes. I mean, and, and that's family. So yeah. um, it really is. We're going to talk to family coming up after the break right here on After the Show. What's going on, family? Man, franchise Jay Clax, and just letting you know the move for Thursday is right here. Annex Lounge, man, 1818 Merlin Avenue. The retro Thursdays, man. We play all the 90s RB, hip hop. We play all the throwbacks, house music, a uh, little Baltimore club, a little reggae. Man, it's a vibe, I promise you. Indoor, outdoor. Myself, the franchise Jay Clax, and DJ Mr. Gang. So we're gonna all be right here. Doors open up at six. We go to like 11. If y'all still eating and drinking, we're gonna still keep going. It is absolutely no cover. 
indoor, outdoor, I promise you, it's a vibe. Hookah available and cigars are welcome. Welcome back to After the Show, Franchise J. Claxton and Dr. Kaz to the left. You good? You're always to the left. I know, but hold up. I need you to re-intro me. You didn't <laughs> intro me. I already intro you. No, you, you we, did not intro me like you we, normally we, we, did. We're talking to our, our, our lovely guests at this point. No, but I need you to re-intro me like you do normally. Mm. Just because our guest is cute don't mean you can't tell me. <laughs> One ain't have nothing to do with the other. Okay, so let's try this again. <laughs> I love it. We, we only got 30 minutes around here. We, <laughs> we, only got 30, we only got 30 minutes. You know what I mean? But again, man, it's after the show right here on WMAR ABC 2. Uh, franchise J. Claxton and this lovely lady to the left, uh, left of me. Um, I love how that rolls off his Who has a degree in... So Lovely, is uh lady. you know nice to look at dr Cass. <laughs> yes is that better i love that I okay love that. all right i want to make sure yeah, i want to yeah, make yeah, sure yeah, yeah. Love so, that. So go ahead. so listen um i'm incredibly excited today um back in december actually i'm gonna give you a location so that you'll understand when she actually begun this journey you know we know her as terry t bomb you know one one half of spotlight over the city right. in the dmv right. um but she also has another platform okay right? All right. and um i'm gonna give you a real visual so that you'll understand because this other platform that she has it taps into triumph you know, and really coming from your trials and your tribulations and how you've excelled and things of that nature. And she hones in on on everyone, right? Okay. And yeah. she gets the story behind the story. So you know how, you, you know, when you see that onion, the onion may look one way, but you have to pull those layers back to get to the juicy part of the onion. Okay. So that that's what she does, okay. right? And um, yeah. if you remember, um, in December, we were in, actually, November or December, Terry? I think it was even earlier than that, but my memory's yeah. bad. I'm 53, so I, I, it was, I thought it was like right, it was before your birthday, so I thought it was more. So it was November, so it was. Okay. It was, it, was it would have been November, um, and we were in Lexington, Kentucky. Okay. Actually, it was October. We were in Lexington, Kentucky, right. and um, you and I were having dinner, but you know, my word is my bond. And I made a promise to Terry that when she started this journey, her IG lives, talking to women who have, you know, really have a story that I would be one of her guests. And she okay. invited me on mm -hmm. and we had a moment mm -hmm. so, so much so that after your moment, Terry, what you don't know is when I went back into the restaurant, Jay really had to get, get me together, down, right? Yeah. Um, so Terry, tell them about your amazing platform on IG. Well, thank you very much, Cass, for that amazing introduction and um, overview of Trauma to Triumph. It has been a little over a year that I started this this program, this movement, and um, God just kind of put something in my spirit uh, about a year ago that says, you know what, Terry, people connect with you, people feel safe with you, and you're able to get them to really relax and talk about the things that were traumatic in their lives. And um, we, I realized that those were healing moments. You know, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a mental health therapist, but I am a woman who has gone through traumatic things from childhood, teenager, young adulthood, even as an adult now. So I figure who best to have a platform about trauma to triumph than someone who has gone through things and is relatable. And so I started this, this platform, Trauma, the number two, Triumph. And um, my vision was to get people on film telling their real life stories, gut-wrenching stories of trauma, things that they've gone through. I have filmed people who have served 
years. I, I filmed a young lady who served 18 years in federal penitentiary for murder. She's out now and doing amazing things in the community. Um, I've put on film a young lady from New Zealand who had 13 different brain surgeries and she's still alive to talk about it and writing songs and teaching children how to write songs. Um, I've, I've had a young lady who was um, mm, molested and um, pretty much thrown away by her, her mom mm. because she, you know, her dad was black. So her mom was white, her dad was black. And um, her story, when you all hear her story, it is just going to take you on a roller coaster. But now she's one of the biggest owners of a medical cannabis uh, company. So it's stories about gut-wrenching life trauma. And then it's kind of like, but look at me now, right? Mm -hmm. And to develop more content, I said, and to keep it going, I've started a weekly Instagram Live where... I now have men. I just um, talked to championship boxer Keith Holmes about his trauma and how he, you know, went from trauma to triumph. And now he's a, you know, retired championship boxer. Of course, I've even interviewed my, my husband, Stan Long, who has a story of, you know, being out in the streets and a lot of trauma that occurred in his life. So I've opened the platform up to men as well. And so now we are reaching so many different genres of people and ethnicities and all kinds of things. You know, I, I talked to a man who who was married for 23 years and his 16 year old son, his 16 year old son shot his wife, meaning his biological mom. He shot his mama and his eight year old brother in front of his father. And his father was on Trauma to Triumph to talk about that experience. How do you walk through your living room thinking you're hearing shooting on TV Really, it's your 16-year-old son killing your wife, who is his mother, who birthed him, and his eight-year-old brother, biological. They all lived in the house together. So, again, these are these stories need to get out there because, you know, there's so many people who go through things like this. People go through so much trauma in life, and to hear these stories of how other people got through has been life-changing for so many people. So, it's a movement. And Cass, I appreciate you sharing your story as well. All of these, all of our stories and all of our footage is going to become part of a docu-series that I'm putting together. And I'm really excited about it. I'm so excited about it. All right. And you know, when you speak about, you know, people going through trials and, and getting to the other side to, to feel like, you know, uh, they made it in, uh, in, a, in a great place. Um, you know, it's about faith at, at the end of the day. I mean, I, you know, I talk to Cass a lot about, um, you know, fear and faith can't be in the same place. Um, you know, you can't, you can't have faith if you are fearful that, you know, he's not going to bring you, he's not going to bring you through. So, um, a lot of times it is, it is about that. And, and sometimes you put things on us that, we may not think uh, we deserve or whatever the case may be, but, um, you know, there's no other person but you to to, to be in this place and, 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 and show that we can get through and show that you can get to the other side, because that's really what it's uh, what it's about. And, and these trials um, are, are the story so that you can tell somebody else, you can help somebody else, yeah. you can give somebody some words of wisdom or give them some food, like I always say, like food for thought. So you can all, mm -hmm. you, you can tell somebody right. where, um, you know, I made it through. So it, it, if I made it through, you can make it through Absolutely. as well. And really that's, 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 that's the thing. And that's a beautiful thing that you're giving people an opportunity um, and a platform to, to tell his story and you know tell a story full circle because that's really what it's right. about. It's about the full circle. That's exactly what it's about, and um, and it does well for my heart. You know, every time I talk to someone, the stories are all different, mm -hmm. but um, it just really, really touches my heart every single time, and I always get someone randomly in my inbox the same night or the next day that says, "Had they not watched that, they would not have had the courage." to start the healing process for their own life trauma. Right. And that means everything to me. 
you know, Terry, I was going to ask, I'm going to ask this question, but I know the answer, but I want you to tell everyone else, what is your why? Why did you have to do this? Why was this movement important to you? Um, it was more personal for me initially because my why was I was this, I was always the type of person that shied away from going to see a therapist or going, you know, to get help. Right. Initially. Mm-hmm. And what helped me during my life trauma was connecting with people who could relate. Gotcha. So I realized that, you know, if it helped me. hmm then maybe I could use that to help others. And that's my why. I realized that it really helps me to be able to share my life trauma with those who can connect with me, who can relate with me. And um, so I figured let's spread this throughout the world. Let's do it. And that's what made me start it. So that's my why. You know, she was pointing at me when you talked about a therapist. Um, But we, we all deal with we all deal with things and move different, Um, you know, and I'm not one to tell anybody that they are wrong or right about going to a therapist. Oh, wait, this must have changed because he used to tell people, why you need a therapist? No, well, I mean, I'm just saying that every, we all, we all different. So we all are different. I, I had to, I had to change, you know, I had to change the message because, you know, you, you don't really realize how many people are listening or how many people are following you or, how many people are, are looking at you for guidance? Right. Even though they don't, they may not say anything. Absolutely. So just because that's not how I move or how I deal or how I cope doesn't mean that that's not your way to deal in the cope. You, you understand what I'm saying? So Absolutely. it's okay. I am. I, I, I'm turning me, to me, the side, Terry, so, not, not, because it sounds like he's talking. Me. He, he, it sounds like I'm talking, no, me, but it's coming from, so me, me, coming from me, him. Me personally, me personally, that's not my thing, right? Right. That's not my thing. Not that, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just not my thing. You know what I mean? It's okay. I'm, and, I'm, and that's yeah, the thing. I'm a, I'm that's why I out. was admitting to you all that, you know, um, prior to this phase of my life, meaning over 50, it wasn't my thing. Right. And mm-hmm. But my thing was, like my therapy was, like I said, being able to have people that can relate to the things that I went to, went through. So I had my, you know, you know, everybody has their person. Like, you know, most people have at least one person in the world that they can connect with. And so it wasn't a mental health therapist or a psychologist, but, you know, um, different things work for different people. And, and for people who are not interested in going to see a therapist, they may want to be a part of a movement like Trauma to Triumph, where you have real life people who've gone through these real life things, just like you and you and you and you. So sometimes that works for people because a lot of people are are the mindset that I'm not going to go sit in someone's chair who's never gone through what I've gone through. Even though they are educated in areas where they can really treat you and help you a lot of people feel like you know what i want to talk to someone a real person who has really gone through this i want to talk to someone who really has gone through domestic violence and you know all therapists haven't gone through domestic violence situations you you might not can talk to me about you know what it's like to be on the receiving end of 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 a man beating your ass oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to cuss i'm so sorry (laughs) Um, You know what I mean? So a lot of times for a lot of people, it's about, I need somebody that really can relate. Right, right, right. right. And and you know, before, before we let you go, um, for me, transparency works for me, Mm -hmm. you know, and Mm -hmm. even, even this, and, you know, our podcast before, at the end of the day, as we're talking, you know, just as much as we're giving people food, we're getting the food in as well from um, from from our Absolutely. from our guests such as yourself and in from a lot of the people that would, would reach out. So um, you know, however however you need to get through, just just get through and get to the other side. Exactly. You know that I mean? part you know? exactly. Do what works for you. Right. Yeah. Exactly. There's so many That's things right. out here now. You know, mental health is at the forefront of everything now. Everything. So there's so many resources now. There's so many different. Um, avenues for people and you you pick what what works for you 
Right, right. So look, D, how can they follow the movement? How can they, you know, watch the lives, watch the show? How can they follow you? I'm so glad you asked that, Jay. Um, trauma to Triumph. Trauma, the number two, triumph, doc.com. So I have my website. It's amazing. You can sign, if you know people who have trauma stories to tell and they want to be a part of this movement, they can go to www.doc.com trauma the number two triumph doc.com i'm also on instagram at trauma to triumph i'm on youtube trauma to triumph doc and my email is info at trauma the number two triumph doc.com awesome see we appreciate you we, we thank you for taking time out your busy schedule to you know kick it with us and kick it with everybody watching on on ABC, ABC2, WMAR in Baltimore. We greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Continue changing lives. Continue winning. Continue, continue just continue climbing, climbing. All right. Thank y'all so much for providing this platform. And I see y'all doing y'all's thing. I'm so proud. I'm always going to be a cheerleader for you all. So right. thank y'all. Thank right. y'all so much. Right. We really appreciate We you. appreciate you. We appreciate Tari for stopping through. We appreciate you for you know, spending some time with us right here on After the Show on WMAR ABC2. Coming up next, more After the Show. We got you. What's going on? Welcome back to After the Show. I am Jay Clax, and this is Dr. Cass. Uh, we having a good time. We love the fact that you're hanging with us. Yes. Uh, where else would you rather be than right. with us? We got you. On a and Saturday night. And we greatly appreciate you. So let me get that out the way that we love you, and we love the fact that you're spending time with us. We have Courtney. He is a uh, writer, producer, director right. of BET hit show, movie, mm -hmm. The Reading. Okay. All right. When I tell you it is a suspense movie, it right. is a suspense movie. Right. And of course, he is our hometown girl, Monique, in it. Right. right. And, oh, and like when. So I watched the trailer because, you know, I'm so afraid of suspense and thrillers, right? So I watched the trailer and was like, oh, I got to wait till Jay comes so I can watch this. I can't right. watch this. Courtney, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> great, we're great, we're How great. How are you feeling today? Um, I, I'm still absorbing it and taking everything in. It's been going crazy. Right. Well, going crazy is a good thing. You had to, yeah. you know, and, uh, yeah. you know, you had to actually prepare for that, you know, and because that's what we really want anyway. You know, yeah. we, we want to be appreciated. Uh, we want we want folks to love the things that we take part in, you know. We want them to 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 really accept what we're doing. So let, let's talk about let's talk about what you have, BET original, what's going on right now. Um, so the reading is a, a a film that I did in 2020. Um, I went and got it done. I went and casted Monique. Got Monique. We finished the film. Um, after the film was done, um, I went and I approached Lee Daniels to come on and uh, help me kind of like edit it down to get a better structure for a faster paced film. He came aboard, and then we ended up selling it to BET. Paramount last October and it's now streaming on BET Plus um, and I believe it's going to like BET Linear in about 40 to 60 days. Good. So, but how do you even do that? I, I know that right now um, this is the opportunity for folks that can have ideas and really start to put those things together mm -hmm. but those that have great ideas and, you know, great visions and just don't know where to start how, what advice, how did you, how did you start and what advice do you have to anybody else trying to follow in your footsteps? Um, I would encourage everybody just to do it. And, and, and I don't mean do it in the way that's in your head. I mean, do it in the way that you're capable of doing it. I think we get it. We get in our way a lot because we think that we try to follow all of these rules that maybe Hollywood or somebody has taught us to follow, do it and don't be afraid to fail. And then when you fail, just do it again and do it better. And then when you fail, okay. just do it again and do it better. You don't, I think uh, a lot of times when it comes down to our dreams, we, we're like, well, I need this, 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 this. And for me, um, I've always asked God to give me everything that I need and, and make me be wise enough to know what to do with it. 
And that was one of the the, the things with this. Monique, um, I, I got in touch with her. I got in touch with Sydney, her husband, and I sent them the script and they were in love with it from, from the jump. Um, I've just always been a person that that I, I just don't take no for no for an answer. There is always a way to create something. Like God, I feel like God puts the blueprint in your head, and it's for you to do the work to right. figure out which direction you can go in. And that that would be the advice for everybody: just try it. And if you fail and it doesn't look the way that you want it to look, just do it again. Like it's it's your vision. Just try it again. Right. You know what, man? You just dropped a whole bunch of fool, a whole bunch of dimes. I mean, I, I think that's what happens a lot of the time. Failure is 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 needed, is necessary in order for you to grow. That's where the growth comes in at, right? And a lot of times people don't want to actually, uh, they feel like they're above going through trial, tribulation, and failure. That's where the growth comes in. That's what you need. That's God trying to teach you you know, how to get past and let you, in, in basically letting you know or letting him know that you are ready for what he has ready for you, you know? For sure. It prepares you for, it, it prepares you on a bigger scale. I've always say when you fail, just try to fail. When you fall, just try to file forward because if you fall forward, you're still ahead of where you were a second ago and you might not be ahead financially, but you're ahead in your head when it comes down to wisdom because now you know what not to do again even if it's just one little thing so the next time you do it it'll be a little bit better so i just encourage everybody just to do what you take what you have in front of you that you have access to and 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 take a step forward in the direction and again if it doesn't look the way you want to look it just just try it again and then it'll be better the next time i say that courtney yeah. what's next for you um, we're, I actually have a meeting tomorrow, um, with that same discussion. Um, people are excited about, um, what I have coming up. They're talking sequel, they're talking prequel. Um, I have a show that I've been working on, um, called the amygdala series that I really want to get launched. We're almost done with that. So I'm talking to BET plus about that tomorrow. Um, and I have like a few feature films that I'm really, really interested in getting going this year. So I'm excited about whatever God has for me. I'm on, I'm on the ride. I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on the Lord to tell me. I know what, that's right. I, I ain't get here. So I don't know how I'm gonna get to wherever next. I'm just, I'm allowing him to just lead me in the direction he, he wants me to go. Well, I'm, I, we're excited for you. I mean, just listening to you just got me excited. Man, you put a bunch of thoughts in my head. This five, six, seven minutes we just had you that you graced out, you know, graced the, graced the show. And I appreciate y'all having me. Yeah. Really appreciate you. Appreciate you. Courtney, thank you so much. So yes. for more information, we can follow Courtney on IG at Courtney Gaudet. Yes, yes. Yes. Courtney, yes. thank you, man. We appreciate you, family. And yep. Ready? Mm -hmm. Listen, I feel like Janet Jackson. What you mean? Funny how time flies. You okay. don't remember the song? Okay, I, I, I get it. I get the analogy. I, I get the analogy. I guess because you're 36, you don't understand. No, I ain't saying it. You said it. I, I ain't saying nothing. Now, we will see you next Saturday. We got you. We hear about culture, entertainment, news, politics, fashion, and so much more. We got you. Dr. Cass, Jay Claxton, after the show.